morning guys day six i think yeah six yeah uh saturday morning met up with the family for a little bit yesterday had dinner at kfc at morisset uh good to see them again and caught up with jerry from jerry's ramblings he's still over in his swag snoring in his head off i had a nice campfire last night and a few beers sorry i didn't get to film anything but Hey, it's the way life goes, eh? Um, I'll introduce you to Jerry once he finally wakes up. Uh, uh, today the plan is to do head up to Borden House Dam and we're going to do a bit of a hike from there up to Wadigan HQ Campground and then back down. Uh, I think it's around about a 6k round trip or something along those lines. I can't remember exactly. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, that's the plans for today. So I'll introduce you to Jerry a little bit later. I'll, because Jerry does a lot of hiking and whatnot, I'll show you what he's got in his day pack. Um, bit of survival gear and safety gear and stuff like that. What he actually takes hiking, so if something happens, he's protected. Probably not a bad idea for most hikers. Um, in all honesty, though, not everyone can afford it. Um, I definitely know I couldn't. If it's something you want to do pretty serious, then yeah, definitely grab all this gear. I think. So yeah, we'll probably have a look through that before we do too much. Uh, he wants to do a quick video on the car, I think, and have a look at how I set her up. So, just waiting for the jug to boil. Once I've had a coffee, I'll probably get the fire re going and start thinking about some bacon and eggs for breakfast. All right, peace guys, I'll see you soon. <clears throat> and here we have in its cocoon. A Jerry from Jerry's Ramblings, a little baldy headed Irish fella who loves to talk, loves to drink, and loves the bush. Oh, if you listen very carefully, you can hear, even hear him snoring. And that sounded like a fart. And here we have it the elusive Jerry rising out of his cocoon to face the day. Alrighty, so it's day six as already stated. I'd like to introduce Mr. Jerry Stanford from Jerry's Ramblings. Hey guys. Um, we've decided that we're not going to do the boarding house dam to Wadigan HQ walk today. Uh, neither of us particularly feel up to it after a couple last night and a bit of a late night. <laughs> so we're gonna go down to boarding house dam we're going to do the walk around there, the little loop. I'm going to give Jerry a look at that and just show him around some of the spots here. Probably head out to the plane wreck, um, Hunter's Lookout, things like that. And just give him a bit of a look around. Here comes a bit of rain again. That's another reason we don't particularly want to do the big walk today. Uh, tomorrow we're still doing Gap Creek Falls. Uh, Jerry's going to love that one. Looking but, forward to it. Yeah, but that'll be tomorrow's. Uh, for today, we'll just go for a bit of a run around, show him some of the basics. You guys have already seen most of it. Um, but yeah, I'll film Boarding House Dam again. So you can see that again. Um, Jerry, want to give us a bit of a run through on what your channel is, mate? Yeah, so pretty much, uh, thanks Mick for the introduction. That's a good one. Um, I, have, um, I have a channel pretty much geared towards more sort of bushwalking, uh, wild camping. Uh, it's called Jerry's Ramblings. Which will um, be linked to below. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's um, pretty much, it's a lot to do with the Blue Mountains. I do a lot of um, hiking and, and bushwalking and, and so forth, so on and so forth in the, the Blue Mountains um, back home. So, yeah, pop on over if you uh, if you want something to get your teeth into. It's a bit of backpacking, white camping, as I say, cooking, a bit of everything in there. Some fishing too, by the way. So, yeah. Yeah, we need to get out and do a bit more fishing again. Definitely, we're not doing enough. Nah, yeah. mate, it's been too long since we've been out there chasing those carp. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, yeah, we'll get well, we'll get a session soon. Uh, Definitely, it's fun. All right, guys, um, I'll leave it at that for a moment, and we'll see you at Boarding House Dam. All righty, guys, here we are down at Boarding House Dam. Uh, do a bit of a walk around on the area while we're here. So. First and foremost, we're in the car park. Pretty decent little car park. As you can see, there's a few little picnic shelters around. Uh, some 
electric barbecues over the other side there too or gas or whatever they are uh, a couple more picnic areas uh, water tank not for drinking and a long drop toilet uh, Jerry's just in the toilet so I can't go down too much at the moment uh, we're going to get moving at the moment or in a minute when he's out I'll give him a look at a couple of these things before we run off but look at the size of this tree stump down here and uh, danger trees may fall do not camp under trees when you see what's around a little bit further yeah trees may definitely fall so look at the size of that bugger though that's massive so, uh, garbage bins down here as well so no excuse for not taking your rubbish with you here's jetty back so, uh, once he's ready we'll start moving and i'll do a bit more filming my jerry films off to one side i'm just going to come for a quick walk down here now that walking trail that jerry and i were talking about doing today i believe actually starts around here um and i think it forks off part of the way up the track uh, neither of us particularly feel up to doing that walking trail today so we're not going to do it so just going to have a quick look through here and then we're going to do the basic um, basic walking trail through here and there's a way we could have got over without getting our feet wet at least fallen log motorbikes when coming through here I don't I don't get it with motorbikes why they feel the need to floor it and rip things up when they come out of like a water hole you know, it, it's not that steep of a hill that you need a bucket load of torque and momentum to get up it. I don't get the, why they feel the need that they have to sit there and freaking spin the shit out of it and rip it up. But, trail bikes. I, I try to keep a bit of respect and open mind for everybody, but I'm really starting to wonder. Uh, looks like it's a pretty firm bottom here. But you got a little bit of a creek flowing through. Um, Probably some tadpoles through, I know, in the other sections there are. Uh, and that flows down and around the area. And again, I think that's the trail that we were meant to be walking. Um, and I think it forks off a little bit of, white, bit of the way up the trail, I'm not too sure. But we've decided not to do that one. Maybe leave that for another day. So I'll head back up here. Again, we've got a few picnic areas and picnic tables and some barbecues and that up here, so I'll go find Jerry and we'll get moving up here a bit further. So here we've got what I call the Harry Potter tree. Uh, just looking at this slash through in between its eyes makes it look like Harry Potter, I reckon. Okay, so start of the uh, boarding house dam walking trail. Trees may fall. Uh, yeah, maybe just look at the size of that one. Jerry. Seismic. Okay. Absolute monsters. And they and they say trees may fall. Well, yeah, maybe. So as we Per usual with most uh, forestry and national parks walking trails, they've tried to sign them so you can see pretty well. And it's reasonably well maintained. Uh, it does get a little bit harder to read in a couple of spots, but she's not too bad. It's quite an easy walk through here too, it's quite a nice walk, not overly long. Um, yeah, I, I know you have seen me down here before. I've been here a few times before and done videos down here and whatnot, but you know what, I just love coming down here. And regardless of how many times you've seen it, I'm going to keep coming back through and probably doing more and more videos. So, so this is the dam. You want to watch your step here or you might end up in the drink. Hey Tash. Um, when I did the weekend with my brother and uh, his mates and his missus. Uh, Tash was up the top here where Jerry's standing and did a jump and a slip and ended up in the drink. Unfortunately, I didn't get that on camera, but Steve from Mud Duck Forward Drive Tour and did. 
um, by the point that this video is released, his one will probably be released, so pop over and check it out. So this is the actual boarding house dam. You can see the steps that go down into the dam to um, allow you for swimming and the flow over the top. A uh, section of my normal intro videos is actually filmed just here where I sit there saying how amazing this looks. Try not to go on my ass on me. Look how beautiful it is down there. Again, as you come along here, our national parks have um, put signage down. This has actually been fixed up a bit since last time I was here. And then we come around the corner into Jerry's vape smoke. <laughs> I, was I was wondering what the big cloud of crap was. <laughs> um, and then we'll come up onto the moss wall in a second. I just love the rock formations the way this is done. That would have been hundreds of millions of years of erosion to cause the rocks to sort of carve away like that. And considering it flows so slowly most of the time through here, you can see it's actually a little stagnant down the bottom there. It must have been millennial, millions upon millions of years to fucking do this. Uh, I've said it once before uh, in the videos while doing this area. This is why I own a four-wheel drive, to get to places like this. Okay, here we are again at the end of the moss wall. Parks and Wildlife have put in a couple of signs to tell us where to go. Funny is, it's telling us to go right or back. Nothing tells us to go that way yet, there's still path there, so we're going that way anyway. Been this way many times, love it. Always good.
we are guys, it's the end of the boarding house down walk. A couple of nice Tritons in front of us, Shipbox Toyota. Actually a couple of Shipbox Toyotas. A couple of nice Tritons though. Uh, yeah, that was the boarding house down guys, hope you enjoyed it. Jerry's off there rambling. That's what he does, that's why he calls himself Jerry's Rambling. Uh, Alrighty, back in the car and I think we're going to head up to the plane wreck from here. So Mick has ended up with a little leech on him. A little blood sucker. So this is how to remove them. I've never removed one before, I've never actually had one on me, but from what I understand... This pool. No, from what I understand, if you just pull them, they can leave part of them in there or something. Oh really? He's well in there. It's on the good old feed. Got him. Yep, he there got he him. Goes. Little bugger. And I'm not gonna leave him for somebody else. Alrighty guys, so we're at the plane wreck. I'm not bringing the good camera simply because it's starting to rain. Uh, we don't want to get too wet, so yeah, Jerry and I are going to head down to the plane wreck now. <sighs> Just had a blood sucker on me. Hopefully, Jerry can send me the footage over before I can um, get that. Yeah, but yeah, first ever blood sucker was actually attached to me. Uh, he got a roasting. Anyway, off to the plane wreck. What's left of it? You have got to be fucking kidding me. Seriously, people. You drive out past the Wadding Wadigan's HQ bloody campground, there's garbage bins everywhere. You come and camp here, don't throw your fucking rubbish in the bush, you dirty, filthy pigs. Fuck me. And wow, it looks like there's a lot left of the plane. So three bags of rubbish thrown up in there, that's fucking disgusting. Fucking pigs. So yeah, not an awful lot left of the plane. She's getting pretty demolished. We've all seen this before. So that was the plane wreck. And a pile of rubbish, which is always lovely seen in the bush. Jerry's slowly getting out of the car. <laughs> Lost his phone up in my roof console. Now we're up at Hunter's Lookout. I love this place, the views here are spectacular. No heatings, but still spectacular views. Really nice with the cloud and the light mist of rain at the moment too. Makes for a real nice ambience across the land. So I'll swing the cameras around and I'll give you a look. Alrighty, now we're at McLean's lookout. Can't see all that much now due to the rain and the cloud cover. Uh, beautiful little spot though. Shame the weather has turned a bit poor on us because it really is a gorgeous spot and some amazing views. If you look back in some of my other videos, though, you will see this. Um, one thing I was just mentioning to Jerry on the way in here, this area's got a lot of xanthorea or black boy growing uh, through here. So I'm just going to walk across here and show you a couple. So these large grass trees here behind me are the xanthorea or the black boy. Um, the Aboriginals used to use those for cordage. They can be used 
for food, the bottom of the plant stem, similar to the uh, spiny headed mutrash. And the inside of the main um, trunk can be eaten as well, however if you eat that you'll kill the plant. The stalks that grow on these, the big flower stems that grow on them, were originally used by the Aboriginal people for walking sticks and for spear handles because they are really, really light. And I showed Jerry one last night and he couldn't believe how light it was once it was dried out. Yet it's still quite strong. The xanthorea, uh, the seeds for these plants are germinated by fire. So we need our natural bushfires or our cool burns as we should be doing to germinate the seeds for these plants. They also grow at a rate of one centimetre of height per year. So when you see one that's about six foot tall, it's been living for nearly 200 years. Um, the stalks are actually made up of the burnt leaf matter, the dead burnt leaf matter at the bottom. That's what this, the main trunks of the plants are made up of. And that's to protect it. The resin off these is also utilized um, in conjunction with ash and kangaroo feces to make a resin which they used to use to uh, seal water baskets, uh, canoes, and to hold or to glue the spearheads on and things like that. So they're quite a wealth of um, a number of uses for these plants. So, so yeah guys, that's the xanthorea or the black boy, grass tree, whatever you want to call it. Great plant and should be well looked after. Uh, Here we go guys, so McLean's lookout has just started to clear up. Here comes the view in behind us. Now you can still see the rain coming through, some clouds and whatnot, but yeah, we're just starting to get a bit more of a view from here. It's so beautiful. Some of these lookouts are absolutely gorgeous. So guys, that's gonna be about it for today. I just had some dinner and a cuppa. Uh, it's Pretty miserable, been raining pretty much since we got, pretty much since we left Borden House Dam. Uh, it's been raining, we went and had a look at the plain, Hunter's Lookout and uh, McLean's Lookout. And then we headed back to camp and just relaxed and yeah, had a bit of a feed and whatnot. Not going to be much else happening. Plan is to be up nice and early tomorrow because I'd like to be at Heaton's Lookout to watch the sunrise. Uh, that's going to be an interesting one. That means we've got to be up and out of here by about 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, yeah, something like fucking quarter to 5 or something like that rise. Yeah, going to be tired. Um, maybe even half past 4 because I'm going to probably need a coffee before I drive. So, yeah, anyway, uh, Heaton's lookout in the morning. I'm going to quickly show Jerry a couple of other quick lookouts, which I'll probably film while I'm at it. And then down to Gap Creek Waterfall after this little bit of rain, although it's not much. And we had a fair bit last week. The falls should hopefully be flowing nice and well. So, be interesting to see how they're going and how sore I am at the end of it. And then little to be known by my darling wife and my lovely son is instead of heading home Monday, I'm heading home tomorrow. I figured I've got to drive halfway out of here anyway to help Jerry air back up so I might as well just air up myself and head home so um yeah anyway so that's it for tonight guys um hope you've enjoyed all the footage remember to like and subscribe and hit that little bell notif to get notifications for when the next video drops um the next video will be obviously Heaton's Lookout and Gap Creek Falls uh alright Peace guys, take care and I'll see you out there on the tracks.